Is it a good idea to buy the MSI Expert OC edition of the RTX 5080? Is it cool and quiet or hot and loud? Let's find out! This particular unit isn't new, but all accessories should be intact. Let's take a look at the box first. It is quite large. Here are some of the features that MSI want to highlight advanced vapor chamber, core pipes, optimized fin design. Beautiful presentation. Take a look at that. Expert. There's a thick foam padding over here at the top. The graphics card is packed in an anti-static bag. And here is the accessories box. Let's see what we have in here. Alright, that's the standard MSI GPU support stand. With a nice rubber pad at the top, as well as at the bottom. And uh, this one has a magnet. That magnet helps to keep that GPU support stand nice and stable inside of a case. There we go. But this thing is made from plastic. So it doesn't feel particularly premium, but it does look nice. They could have fooled me. It does look like it could be metal, so I guess good job there. What else do we have here? Oh, a power adapter. Three 8 pins to a single 16 pin connector that this graphics card uses. So if you have an older power supply with 8 pin connectors, you can still use this graphics card. This is a beautiful, sophisticated, all-metal design. The entire shroud, as well as the back plate, it's all metal. Nice. Yes. Beautiful. This is like a Rolls-Royce of graphics cards. Take a look at this grill. There are very few logos on this thing. And there are minimalistic. GeForce RTX, MSI over here. Nice and tasteful. Nothing is screaming gaming on this graphics card. It whispers elegance. In terms of display connectivity, we get the latest and greatest connections. 3 DisplayPort 2.1 and 1 HDMI 2.1 for a maximum of four displays. Let's remove this PCIe connector cover. Take a look at that. The heatsink is fully encased into the metal shroud. There are no gaps where we can take a look at it, with the exception of these fan cutouts. This is a big heatsink with a sophisticated cooling design. And all components are actively cooled, including the power delivery system. The components are cooled by one large fan at the front of the card and one large fan at the back. This one is pulling the air upwards. So, if your GPU is sitting inside of a case, that's a nice airflow to have, actually. What we don't see very often these days is that this graphics card actually has a functional cutout for active cooling over here. This fan pushes the air and some of the hot air will escape through here. This is a 360 watt graphics card. Power is delivered via the single 
16 pin connector at the top, MSI recommends an 850 watt power supply for this graphics card. This thing weighs 1.9 kilograms, which is expected because it has a full metal body. Let's measure it. That's 319 millimeters long and 150 millimeters tall, precisely 150. Here is how it looks inside of a PC. I'm in love with it. It works so well with the rest of the components I have in here. Check it out. So good. By the way, I'm not worried about leaving this graphics card without any GPU support. I'm not even using that one right there that I have built into my PC case. It is fine. It is absolutely secure and fine without the GPU support. It's fairly compact for an RTX 5080. It's not too long and it's not too thick. It takes up exactly three slots. In terms of gaming performance, you can pair the RTX 5080 with any monitor and still enjoy a great gaming experience. Whether at 4K, 1440p or ultrawide 3440x1440. However, this GPU doesn't offer a zero compromise experience as full ray tracing is very difficult for it to handle and may require using DLSS performance mode in the worst case scenarios. I've published separate videos testing the RTX 5080 at all these resolutions. Check them out at the links in the description below to learn more. Let's check how the expert OC behaves in games under full load. This is Cyberpunk 2077 4K native resolution. Ray tracing is enabled. Let's take a look at the power consumption. It is at around 350 to 360 watts. So as expected, the card does not exceed the 360 watt power consumption that it is rated for. The GPU temperature is hovering at around 70 degrees. The VRAM hotspot is at 70 degrees and the GPU core clock is sitting at around 2800 MHz, just above that actually, most of the time. And the fan speed is at 52%. 1600 RPM. This is a nice result considering that we are in a fairly hot room, almost 25 degrees Celsius, that's uh, close to 77 degrees Fahrenheit. Next, let's use this wireless microphone to take a listen to the noise this graphics card is making inside of this PC. As you would expect from a high quality graphics card with fans spinning at around 1600 RPM, there is no noise to report. What you just heard was the collective humming of all the fans inside of this Be Quiet system. And these are premium Be Quiet fans. And the only reason that the system is running louder than usual is because it's still summertime here in the UK and uh, the temperature in the room is climbing 25.5 degrees celsius already because the gpu it produces some heat yeah 360 watts of power that was being consumed and expelled into this room right now i am very happy with the noise levels this graphics card has it is quiet and worthy of the Be Quiet PC build that I have over here. I wish I could keep this card. In conclusion, I'm very happy with every aspect of the MSI Expert OC RTX 5080 graphics card. I love the way it looks, it performs really well, and there is no noise. But above all, I am absolutely in love with how it looks inside of my PC. Just Take a look at this one more time. It feels right at home in this PC build. Yeah, beautiful. Let me know what do you think about the MSI Expert 5080. Do you like it? 
And if you're interested in this graphics card or any other products featured in this video, you can find them on Amazon and the links in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, then you know what to do. Leave a like, I appreciate it a lot, it helps out a lot. And subscribe for more videos like this if you haven't already. It was I, Vadim, until next time.